This is a homemade cyclonic shop vac I built that has a second stage water filtration feature, also known as a wet scrubber. The nice thing about this shop vac is that it can extract large and fine particles down to several microns, with very cheap methods, without losing suction, and all the while keeping a relatively small footprint so it's easy to move around the shop. A third stage can even be added, such as a fabric HEPA filter to remove the ultra fine particles, but I didn't include it in this build. The shop vac has three main parts the cyclonic separator, the vacuum housing, and the wet scrubber. To make the cyclonic separator module, you're going to need a toy traffic cone, a CD spindle case that holds 50 CDs, a one and a quarter inch PVC pipe, and a CD. You start by preparing a hole that's the same size as the pipe on the back side. Next you want to mark a hole for the inlet. You want to be really careful with the knife. Just go really slow and gentle if you don't want to cut yourself. I need to widen the hole a little bit, but carve out the hole. You wanted to the pipe to insert a, tangentially to the CD case. It's going to look like this. Next we're going to remove the top of the CD case. Next you want to take the CD and cut out the center ring. This is going to act as the ramp for the cyclonic separator. For this I'll use some scissors. I'm going to take really small cuts, otherwise it could shatter. Here's the ramp. Maybe something like this. So the air can swirl downwards.
Now here's the most trickiest part, is to glue everything together. Now you want to start by gluing the inlet pipe first, and then you want to add your ramp. Um, you can also use the top of the CD case. I accidentally shattered one of the CDs uh, trying to widen the hole, so I'm going to use the top of the CD case. Have a glue there. So loosely fit. So I have the ramp tacked in and it's loosely fitting, so now I have to glue to fill these gap between the ramp and the edge of the C D case. Next is to glue the center pipe. You want it to extend almost to the top of the CD case. So we can seal the bottom of the CD case to the wall. Next, we're going to cut a traffic cone. Next, we're going to cut the base off. Next, I'm going to glue the cone. Motor housing is simply a box built out of particle board that is slightly larger than the motor itself. I noticed that on the field coils of the motor, there's a square flat section. So I inserted two blocks to lock the motor in place. 
The dimensions are going to vary depending on which kind of motor you have. Alright, so the last component is the wet scrubber portion. And this part is really simple. All it is is it pipes the exhaust air from the vacuum cleaner, which contains uh, micron sized particles and sub micron sized particles. And it'll pass it through this S shaped pipe. And it'll be inside, submerged inside water. So <clears throat> it's going to bubble up. And this is just a tube concentric around this elbow. And when it bubbles up water, it's going to push the water up and it'll impact this cup and then flow back down. So this prevents the water from shooting everywhere and also creates um, another place for the particles to impact the water and get embedded into it. So this sits inside here. And it connects here. So this is just uh, two one-foot sections of one and a quarter inch pipe. I have four 90 degree elbows, five, five 90 degree elbows. This is a sports water bottle 
and this is another plastic bottle that I found. So I just screwed screwed it in here. You may not want to use the metal screws because it'll rust. That's why it's this orange and screws here. So this container, uh, you want to pick a small one, enough so you can sit it on top of the vacuum cleaner. Uh, you probably want to strap it in somehow so it doesn't fall off and shoot water everywhere. It doesn't have to be clear. Um, this is a Tupperware, uh, but you could also use like a plastic waste bin of the same size. So, turn it on. Let's see. Let's turn this on. Also put some kind of um, a filter here as another mist elimination, um, but there's a, only a couple drops that shoot out, and it's not a problem for me, so that's why I keep it open.